This is 12 Sports. Don't look now, but after last night's shootout win over the crunch, the Binghamton Devils sit just six points shy of a playoff spot. What seemed like an impossible task just a month ago, now a reachable goal for a Binghamton team that was back on the ice tonight against the Laval Rocket. Jill Sen in net for the B-Devils tonight, but early in the first period, Brandon Baddock had some kind words for his counterpart. Boys will be boys, but go sit down now, fellas. We have some hockey to play later in the period. Brandon Baddock got in front, but couldn't finish the play. B-Devils close, we remain scoreless. Second period now, what a chance for Mike McLeod. Putting the moves on does everything but put the puck in the net. Then Charles Uden breaks the ice for Laval, snipes one past Sen to make it one to nothing. Then just moments later, Laurent Defon in the right place at the right time, makes it two nothing. But guess what, the Devils score two in the third to tie it win the game in the shootout. I have no video evidence to prove it, so you're just gonna have to believe me. B-Devils take this one three to two. And on the court, the Bearcats 17 and a half point underdogs on Wednesday go on to Long Island, not only cover the spread, but knock off Stony Brook for their biggest win of the season. And they look to keep that momentum going this afternoon against New Hampshire. It was coaches versus cancer game at the arena, always a good cause. Game tied at two early on, and Sam Sessoms putting on his best dance moves, wheeling and dealing to the bucket. He gets the roll to put Binghamton ahead. Later in the half, Binghamton up a pair, but Sean Sutherland, tough to guard all half, has a nice walk down Main Street and the flush to tie the game. Binghamton up three now, Rich Caldwell with the steal, goes coast to coast, gets the shot to fall. He's gonna say hi to the camera on his way down. Binghamton had a five point lead, but the Wildcats wouldn't go down quietly. Down three, Marquis Maltzby hits the triple to tie things up at 17. Binghamton took a two point lead into the break, would lead by as many as eight in the second half, but couldn't get the job done. New Hampshire goes on a late run to win this one. Final score, 77 to 69. And in New Hampshire, the women take care of business against the Wildcats, Kai Moon and Carly Krishnavi, both with double doubles in the win and Moon moved to sixth place all time on Binghamton scoring list. So a nice win for the ladies this afternoon against New Hampshire. And tonight in Detroit, the Nets taking on the Pistons. There's Kyrie Irving. Let's go right to the third. Nets down five, but Irving launches one and connects. But Derrick Rose gave Brooklyn problems all night long, gets the shot to fall and the foul. Check this out, Nets up by two, 11 seconds left. Irving tries to ice the game, comes up short. They save it, Rose goes down the length of the court, ties the game, one second left. We were headed to overtime, but the Nets, they take over in the extra frame. 47 points for Irving on the night. The Nets break their five game losing streak, 121 to 111 is your final. And this afternoon, Syracuse hosting Pitt, Mark Dolezal gets the game started with the hesitation drills it. Syracuse off and running. And later in the first half, up six, more Dolajai gets the ball in the paint. Bucket foul, book it. The Orange led by eight. Second half we go. Q's up by 12, but Pitt cutting into that lead. It was a 10 point game early second half. But on the other end, Buddy Beheim doing what he does best, connects from long range to get the lead to 13. And then Joe Girard the third hitting from beyond the arc. Seven points for him. We go 30 seconds left in the game. Orange only up three, but Elijah Hughes adds the separation with an exclamation point. Five straight wins for the Orange. They're gonna knock off Syracuse. Final score 69 to 61. And guys, the B-Devils in last place just a few weeks ago, now very close to a playoff spot. So quite awesome. the turnaround over the last month for Binghamton's local hockey team. 